All right. Uh, welcome back. Here we go. Today we're going to learn order of operations. So you guys have seen these before. I know in the other classes they teach you this, right? Everyone remembers that? Yes. Yeah. PEMDAS, right? So when we learn order of operations, the first thing that we do is our groups, right? Our groups. And those are inside parentheses. Sometimes, right? right? And that's what the P stands for. What's next? Exponents. Exponents. Very good. We take care of our exponents. That's what the E is for. Now the next one's tricky. This is where some students have confusion or concern. What would be the third step? Multiply it and divide it left to right. That's the key right there. So we multiply or divide from left to right. So I'm going to put that right there, and you have to remember, we do both of those together at the same level, the same step, from left to right. Okay, the rule is not multiply before divide no matter what, and the rule is not divide before multiply. The rule is we multiply or divide from left to right, whichever comes first in the problem. And guess what? What? It's the same thing here. So that's what the A and the S. Add or subtract from? <laughs> from left to right. Okay. So now that you wrote down these steps, we'll do some examples. Very good. Can I erase? Yes. No, right. Let's do an example. operations in here. We have addition, we have division, multiplication, subtraction, exponent, and a group with parentheses. So this is all the steps right here. So if we look at this example, what would be the first step? Where would we look at? Inside the parentheses. Our group first, our parentheses. So we're going to work in the parentheses first. So we got to take care of all this. And inside our group, Inside the parentheses, we still follow the order of operations. So we would again look for more parentheses, but there is no second group, so we're good there. So after parentheses, exponents. So we take care of this first. And what is 3 to the second power? 9. 9. 9. Very good. Not 6. Okay. 3 squared, 9. Because 3 times 3. So again, in the parentheses, what would we do first? Divide. Divide. We need to divide before we multiply. Why would we divide before multiplying? Because it's on left to right. And we go, we're going left to right. So 24 divided by 4? 6. 6. Very good. What would we do next? 
Multiply. Multiply. So we're going to multiply before subtracting. So we're still in the parentheses. We're going to multiply before we subtract. 6 times 3? 18. 18. 2 times 9? 18. 18. 18 minus 18? Zero. 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 Now, would I add these or would I multiply these? Multiply. Multiply. Multiply before we Divide. add. <laughs> so four plus zero. Zero. So our answer four. is four. Okay. Very good. Again, we follow the order of operations for every step. Okay. Any questions on this one? No? We're good? Stop that.